and coming freshman. I'm Mr. Ruella, and I am honored and proud to be the principal of FD Roosevelt High School. You just had an opportunity to see a few brief images of what FDR High School was like prior to the pandemic. It is our hope that the high school you enter returns to a pre-pandemic time where we can gather as a community and cheer on our peers either during pep rally, athletic events, or artistic performances. As a result of the hard work at the elementary schools, Haviland, district offices, work done by our students and the FDR staff, a great deal of positive things have happened. These positive accolades accomplished by FDR family include increased graduation rates, an increase in the number of Regents and Advanced Regents diplomas, athletic accomplishments at both the regional and state level, national awards issued to students excelling in the arts, students attending Ivy League colleges, and our most recent accomplishment being recognized as one of the best high schools by U.S. News World Report. I mention these because we expect you to add to these accomplishments. Your success is important to me, the FDR staff, and the High Park community. The challenge moving forward is for you to unlock your full potential. Tonight's presentation is about laying the groundwork for high school. It is not an orientation where you learn the layout of the building, where your lockers and classes are. That time will come. Tonight is about planning for your future. Soon, you will begin the process of scheduling with your counselor. You will talk to them about your interests and you will make choices about certain classes. This video will include information pertaining to classes presented by our Director of Math and Science, Director of Humanities, Director of Technology, Director of Fine and Performing Arts, Director of PE, Athletics, and Director of Special Education. In addition, our school counselors will review what to expect when scheduling and what you will need to accomplish to graduate from FDR High School. Our assistant principals, Mr. Cowan, Mrs. Moy, and Mr. Frado, along with the FDR staff, have provided some insight into what it takes to be successful at FDR. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kreiser Amy. I'm the Director of Humanities. In my area of responsibility, I have English, World Languages, and Social Studies. For English, you will be required to take the English Regents in 11th grade. You will either have the option of taking English 9 or English 9 Honors as incoming freshmen. For Social Studies, you will be required to take the Global 10 Regents and the U.S. History Regents in 11th grade. As incoming freshmen, you will take Global 9 or Global 9 Honors. Hi, my name is Kim Neisel and I'm the K-12 Math and Science Director for Hyde Park Schools. Your freshman math classes include Algebra 1, Geometry, or Geometry Honors. Everyone needs to pass the Algebra 1 Regents for graduation, three Regents exams are needed for an advanced diploma, and everyone needs at least three credits in math. Your freshman science courses include living environment or earth science. It's important to remember at the high school level there are mandatory lab minutes. Every student must complete 1,200 lab minutes in order to be eligible to sit for the Regents exam. You need three science credits for high school and one science Regents for graduation, two science Regents exams for an advanced diploma. Technology and also in charge of the business department and library sciences and welcome to freshman orientation. Um, the electives available through the technology department are pretty exciting, actually. We have three major strands, pre-engineering, applied technology, and media technologies. And the courses available to you um, include things like design and drawing for production and principles of engineering. Also in applied technology, we have residential structures, interior design, communication systems, and wood technology. And in the media technology, you can look at things like graphic communication and digital photography. A lot of these courses are also under our program called Project Lead the Way, which is sort of pre-engineering, pre-computer sciences for college. Um, in the business side of things, you can look at a number of, uh, we have six business courses that cover the range of programming and straight business. So Project Lead the Way offers two computer science principal classes in the Python and Java program languages. And our business courses include Intro to Business, Business Law, and Career and Finance. Whatever options you choose, make the most out of your high school career, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Hi there, soon-to-be ninth graders. 
My name is Melinda DeMaio, and I am the Director of Fine and Performing Arts in the District, which means I oversee all that is art and music, and I'm going to tell you about some of the classes you can take as freshmen at FDR. In the Art Department, you can take Studio Art, Art History, Creative Crafts, Landscape, Visual Journaling, or Intro to Fashion. And if you've already taken studio art at Haviland, that is the prerequisite for drawing, sculpture, or ceramics. So you'd be eligible to take any of those classes if you've already taken studio art. In the music department, we have many ensembles. Uh, we have the orchestra, symphonic band, as well as mixed chorus. We have several select ensembles that you can audition for, symphony orchestra, wind ensemble, or concert choir. Also, in the music department at FDR, we offer piano classes as well as guitar classes. Both are open to freshmen, and we also offer music theory at the high school level. So there are lots of choices in music and art, and I look forward to seeing you at FDR. Hello, my name is Heather Chadwell-Dennis. I'm the Director of Special Education here in the Hyde Park Central School District. FDR is a very inclusive environment where the needs of all students are met. If you are a student or the parent of a child who requires a special program, there are many people here at FDR who can provide that support. If you have any questions, my office is located across the road from district office. Have a great year. Good evening. My name is Tom Cunningham and I'm a Director of Health, Physical Education and Athletics for the Hyde Park Central School District. Tonight, I just want to review a few items of importance in regards to health, physical education, and athletics. In order to graduate from high school, a student needs to have two credits of physical education and a half a credit of health. In regards to athletics, it's important to have your child to participate in as many clubs and activities as possible as they enter FDR in the fall of 2021. Athletics begins prior to the start of the school year and we will begin on August 23rd in the fall of 2021. We offer the following activities for the fall season. JV and varsity boys and girls soccer, varsity football, girls tennis, JV and varsity volleyball, JV and varsity cheerleading, boys and girls cross country, girls swimming, and boys golf. Now, in order to participate, you need to register on Family ID. Registration will open on July 23rd, and you can find the website for Family ID by going to the Hyde Park Central School District website under the Athletics tab, and you will find a link for Family ID. If you have any questions regarding signups or anything in regards to physical education, health, and athletics, you can contact me at 845-229-4020, extension 6881, or email Thomas Cunningham at hpcsd.org. Hello, incoming freshmen. I'm Mr. Cowan, one of the assistant principals here at FDR High School. What it's going to take for you to be successful at FDR, first and foremost, is to set goals. Okay, it's very important that you understand and, and know what you want to achieve after high school. Do you want to go to college? Do you want to go into the military, trade school, or right into the workforce? Once you figure that out, then you can create a plan or a map on how to get from your first day of school in ninth grade to reaching your goal. Okay, and it's important that you have academic goals, that you, you decide um, just how well you want to do in school. Hopefully you'll be shooting for 90s and above. Um, it's also important that you have personal goals, that you take care of yourself so that you can stay focused on achieving your long-term goal, uh, which, is, which is college and career readiness. Um, and then the other piece of that is you need to be self-motivated and determined. If you can put that all together, you'll be a great success. Can't wait to see you. Hi, eighth graders. My name is Mrs. Moy, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at FDR. While you're here at FDR, in order for you to be the most successful student, we want you to make the most of your time here. By having good time management skills, participating in your classes, and showing up every day ready to learn, you will be successful here. We can't wait to meet you. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Frado, and I'm an assistant principal here at FDR High School. I run two programs, our Sources of Strength and PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention System. 
Both programs are excellent opportunities for incoming freshmen to collaborate with their peers and enhance the positivity throughout our high school. I also track and monitor attendance for all students 9 through 12 here inside of the high school. I think that in order for a student to be successful all four years at FDR, it is important that you build and foster positive relationships with your classmates and teachers. I look forward to meeting all of you and getting to work soon. Thanks. Welcome to the guidance office. I'm Mrs. Moore. I'm one of the five school counselors. There's five of us and we split up our caseload by alphabet. So we get to have you for all four years and we also have your siblings if they share your last name. Also in our office are two school social workers and two school psychologists. And you can come in and visit us anytime. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kitson, school counselor at FDR High School. I work with students whose last name begin with the letters DE through HQ, and I would like to talk to you about the graduation requirements for high school. Um, for all students, you need to earn a total of 22 credits to graduate. Um, the classes that you need to take in order to earn 22 credits are four years of English and four years of social studies. Math and science, you need a total of three credits minimum. So you could continue on to four um, as you're in high school for four years. For languages other than English, you need one credit if you're working towards a Regents Diploma and three credits if you're working towards the Advanced Regents Diploma. Health, you need a half credit in Health for Everyone, one credit in our and our Music, um, for phys ed, you need a total of two credits, which means that you're earning 0.5 credit each year that you take a PE class. For electives, if you are going for the Regents Diploma, you need to earn a total of three and a half credits. And for the Advanced Regents Diploma, you only need one and a half credits of electives. All right, and that is how you earn 22 credits to graduate from high school. Hi guys, I'm Ms. Gianni Levy. I'm one of the school counselors over at the high school and I have students with last names H-U through M-I. So if your last name starts with any of those letters, you'd be one of my students. What I'm gonna be going over is the difference between the Regents exam requirements that differ between a regular Regents and an advanced Regents diploma. The difference is the amount of Regents you're taking in each section. So you'll be both on both different regions you'll be taking for both different diplomas you'll be taking an English regions and you'll be taking a social studies regions and then it differs in math for a regular regions diploma you're only taking one math regions then for the advanced regions diploma you're required to take and pass three math regions and then for science for the regular you're taking one science and for the advanced regions diploma you're taking two science regions and for both of them, you need a plus one region. So that can either be US history, an extra math one, an extra science one, or a foreign language one, which you take in your third year of a foreign language. So with all of that information, if you guys have any questions, you'll be able to talk to your counselor and figure out which track you would like to be set up on. Hi, I'm Miss Jenkinson, and I have students with the last names ROJ through Z. And I'm gonna go over what a typical freshman schedule looks like. At FDR, we have eight periods a day, and these are different courses that you would fit in those eight periods in your day. Um, all students take English 9 and Global 9. Um, there's also an honors option for both of those. Ninth graders will also take a math course, which is usu usually algebra, but sometimes geometry if you've already taken algebra. For science, it's usually living environment, unless you took that at the middle school in which you take earth science. Living environment and earth science both have a lab, which would mean that every other day you would have two periods of your science class. Um, students also have a language other than English usually in their schedule, um, room for an elective, a PE, which again is every other day, and lunch, which is periods four through seven. Typically freshmen earn about six and a half credits during their ninth grade year. Hey everyone, my name is Ms. Wickstead and I'm one of the five counselors at FDR and I work with students with the last names A through DA. 
Like your counselors at Haviland, I am here to help you with whatever you need, whether something's going on at home or at school, or you have questions about your class schedule. Speaking of scheduling, we will meet every year um, to talk about the classes that you will take. Um, we'll go over your transcript and the course selection guide to come up with a schedule that works best for you and will help you get to where you're looking to go in the future. I can't wait to meet you guys um, and I hope you have a great rest of the year. Hi, my name is Mrs. Billings. I'm one of the school psychologists in the high school and I work with students whose last names begin with letters M through Z. Uh, you can find me in the guidance office if you're ever looking for me for support. One thing that I think helps students be successful in school is asking for help, whether that's help with schoolwork while you're in the classroom or if you have a personal issue, no matter how big or small, um, asking your teachers, your school counselor, your friends or a parent, anybody who you trust um, for support really goes a long way toward problem solving and getting your needs met. Can't wait to meet you all next year. Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Hurley and I'm a school psychologist at FDR. I want to offer you a tip to help you be more successful in high school. Did you know that there's a lot of learning that occurs outside of the classroom and outside of the school day? The best way to take advantage of this is to get involved in a club or activity. Check out the FDR website for more information and pick something that meets your interests. Looking forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Joel Martz. I'm the head custodian at FDR High School. In order to succeed in our building, you need to think of a few things that you need to follow by. One is you need to be nice to the custodians. Two, you need to clean up your mess. And if you're nice to the custodians, which goes back to number one, is when you're in trouble and you need your locker open, we're there to help. Hello everyone, welcome to FDR. My name is Miss Thomas and I teach ceramics and studio art. I believe what it takes to be successful not only at FDR but as a lifelong learner is to stay curious, ask questions, and seek answers. Hi, I'm Mrs. Rimp. I teach orchestra at FDR and to succeed in the music uh, department in our ensembles you need to be prepared, you need to be on time, you need to be ready to have fun because we have a lot of fun making music and you have to come to your lessons and participate. Hi, my name is Miss Wagner. I teach reading and AVID at FDR. And to be successful in high school, you need to be organized. My name is Mr. Bedford. I teach special education and the community-based program at FDR High School. My tip for success at FDR is to find something that you're passionate about and pursue it. Whether that be sports, music, or any sort of club, there'll be a lot of options that'll be open to you at FDR. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cruz. I'm a social studies teacher at FDR. And to be successful here, you need to be responsible, you need to be on time, and you need to do your homework. See you next year. Hi, I'm Ms. Nasta. I teach algebra and graph and calculator. And to be successful at FDR, you need to always try your best. I'm Ms. Zulak at FDR. I teach living environment. And to be successful, take pride in your work and pride in your lab work. Hi, my name is Mrs. J, and I am one of several art teachers at FDR. At FDR, I teach the fashion program, Introduction to Fashion, Advanced Fashion, and AP 3D Fashion. Additionally, I teach studio art and art history, and we have a dynamic fashion uh, and art program at large at FDR, so I highly encourage that you join us when you arrive. Um, what you need to be successful to be in the art courses at FDR is an open mind and also excitement uh, and passion to know that art will really connect to all of your other classes at FDR. FDR and support you in thinking critically and solving problems. And last but not least, we are so excited for you to join us. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in the hallways and hopefully in class. Hi, I'm Mr. Gutita. I teach social studies at FDR High School. To be successful in high school, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. My name is Mrs. Ali Safir and I teach Algebra 1 at FDR High School. In order for you to be successful at FDR High School, you must try your best at all times. Hi, my name is Mrs. Middleton and I teach AP Biology here at FDR. To be successful here at FDR, you need to seek your teachers out for extra help. 
Hi, I'm Miss BG. I teach Earth Science at FDR. To be successful, you have to have a positive attitude. Hi everyone, Mrs. Schimmelfennig here. I teach computer science, business, law, and career in finance. And your success at FDR comes from being there. Make sure you make it to every class. See you next year. Hello, I'm Mr. Osborne, and I'm one of the three music teachers at FDR. I teach the wind ensemble, the symphonic band, and the guitar class. Also do the jazz ensemble and the pit orchestra for the spring musical. I'm looking forward to meeting and working with you over the next four years post-pandemic. And what do you need to do to be successful in FDR? Show up every day, work hard, have a great sense of humor, do extra things, and we'll have a lot of fun and learn a lot together. Looking forward to meeting you. Hola, bonjour. Je m'appelle Madame Saraceno. Me llamo Señora Saraceno. So you're coming up to FDR. Um, in my opinion, to be successful at FDR, you should use your agenda planner. It's very helpful. Um, I teach both French and Spanish. Hi, my name is Miss Witt and I teach English. For a student to be successful at FDR, they need to ask a lot of questions. Hi, I'm Mr. Berger and I teach Living Environment at FDR. And to be successful in high school, you should learn to use technology appropriately and efficiently to enhance your academic achievement. The sign that hangs above the door as you enter FDR High School states, a tradition of excellence begins and continues when you enter these doors. Tonight you have heard a fraction of our accomplishments and a portion of what we have to offer. When you begin your journey through high school, I will challenge you to unlock your full potential and add to the greatness of our district. Mr. Shaw and the Haviland staff have been working hard to prepare you and provide you with the tools to be successful at FDR. That being said, you are close to your first week of your second semester in eighth grade. One of the most important things you can do to help you plan for high school is to commit yourself to finishing your eighth grade year as strong as you can. Work hard, be respectful, be involved, ask for help if you need it, and be proud of how you finish your year. If you do these things, your plan for high school will have every opportunity to succeed. I want to thank you for joining us tonight, and I wish you all the best of luck as you finish your time at Haviland, and we look forward to working with you in the fall.